morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Polari. I hope your uh, weekend was fine. Um, just looking at the date today, uh, what? We have the 22nd. That's seven days neat to the 29th when the new president will be inaugurated and sworn in. Of course, you know I'm talking about the um, winner of the election in 2023, the APC uh, candidate, Ashwadu Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Uh, in, in fact, let's talk a bit about him because uh, where we do that, that's virtually what we do almost every day. Because even if we don't mention his name, uh, if it is in the context of the impending transition, his name is going to be brought into it. Well, uh, today my guest is the Right Honorable Jokotola Pelumi. Honorable, Right Honorable Jokotola Pelumi was the uh, Speaker in the Lagos State House of Assembly, the fifth uh, assembly, mm -hmm. uh, because that's how they number them. So this goes back to 2020. You're very welcome. Thank you so very much. Thanks Indeed. for having me. Our pleasure, as always. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you. Um, what can Nigerians expect? Now, you, 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 you could ask that of many people, and uh, simply from being party members, loyalists, supporters, uh, of uh, APC, they would have their own, you know, uh, um, interpretation of what's what what we, what we can expect. But in your case, it's different. There's okay. a personal knowledge. You've, there's been a, a close working relationship over an extended period of time. Absolutely. So it struck us that um, look, let's let's tap into that knowledge. You talk and, to somebody who knows. Yeah, talk to, exactly. Talk to someone who knows and. Uh, Give it, give it to me. What do you think Nigerians are in for? Of course, people know already. They've heard it that the sagacity of the man, the wisdom, the 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 the, the, the fact that he's all those things. He's a strategist, right. you know, and all of that. So, what can we expect? Because people are hoping that it's going to be uh, different in his time. Com completely different. <clears throat> You're, you're talking about, uh, well, thanks for having me to start Our with. pleasure. You, you're talking, Mr. Polari, you're talking about somebody. Yori, please. Who, Yori, okay, we'll get personal now. now. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about somebody who, who always takes the high road. And when I say the high road, I should use the kind of person who always takes the high road. Uh, let me explain that to you. If, he says, if we say we're going to do X, Y, Z, until we achieve that X, Y, Z, we will not relent. He is a result-oriented person. Tends to be relentless on ob an Ab objective. Ab absolutely. And uh, he brings to bear on whatever he does, he lays his hands on. And this is the orientation that he gave us, that once you get started, hey, mister, you're not going back. We get to the end of the story at the end of the day. And um, his education, what form? You know, sorry to interrupt you, yeah. but... That what you just said, that this tenacity of purpose, purpose yes. and um, I don't know, maybe good silence to that thing. It's, uh, it's as messages are dropping, it's giving oh, oh, okay, us, uh, okay, uh, okay. horrors. Mm. Yeah. Maybe it should even be off or on airplane mode, something. But okay. you know, okay. uh, if, if you look at what happened uh, in the course of his arriving at the victor's podium here, um, before then, look, lesser mortals would have given up when you look at all the things that were thrown yeah, put in. Put it this way. Yeah, that were put in this way. Blocks. So, so, so it just occurred to me that, look, uh, what you're saying, it came out even in the election where people were concerned, people were alarmed, hmm. but he seemed to be cool as ice. They don't worry. Not perturbed. The least perturbed human things. He said, hello, fuck Kobale. That's right. Uh, that's exactly what he said. You know, and he has always been that way inclined. You will find, you know, that um, for an appreciable length of time, he has always indicated his intention to become the president of this country. That's right. Way back 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And in all that time, he was, he's been busy talking and working at it. I don't know if you read uh, uh, Farouk Perugi on Saturday, last Saturday. Did you read what he said about all the stumbling blocks that were put in his way? In Ashaju's way? That he's the most vilified human being in politics. And despite all that, and at the risk of repeating myself, you mm -hmm. know, he said... He always takes the high road. <laughs> if we're going to be a politician, let's do it on a grandiose basis. If we're going to uh, be uh, a council, I have the chance to be a council chairman, for example. Mm -hmm. They say, why council chairman? Why can't I go to the House of Assembly? That's right. Why House of Assembly? Why can't I go to the Senate? Okay, why Senate? I'm sick and tired of going to the Senate. You know, Why, why don't I become the president of this country? That's his attitude towards issues and people. 
of politics. And uh, he has deepened his politics to such an extent that built bridges across. And look, Yuri, we're not here today. I'm not here today to press sing anybody. I tell it as it is. Reality, reality has, uh, is not only persistent. It also carries with it um, certain uncomfortability. Okay. How do you mean? This is what I mean. You said something about the, 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 the stumbling blocks that were put in his way. That despite all that, he, the reality of the situation is he knows he was aware that there are so many problems, trillions of them, a thousand and one of them, and he's going into it headlong. Hmm? Look at the power sector. Nigeria's power poverty. Look at them um, uh, for the 99th time in this country since 2015. Hmm? The, 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 part, the, the national grid, the national grid mm -hmm. is, is collapsed com completely. Hmm? Uh, what is the, the power value chain? The power value chain has continuously been weakened. I think that's just those three, three issues. He knows those things exist. And he put his, that's just one aspect of the economy, of the entire thing. And he says, look, I'm ready and able, ready, willing and able to do this thing. Mm -hmm. Give me a chance. No, they refused to. They kept putting blending blocks and hurdles in his way. He scaled all of them. Not effortlessly. So much, so much. Well, well, so much stress, I, can, I would uh, want uh, to imagine. Uh, Although uh, the man is unflappable. Exactly. But still. People were apprehensive, you know, that would he be able to undertake the rigorous, I mean, a rigorous uh, uh, campaign on the campaign trail. The, you know? And he surmounted all of them he because had, he was he, ready. He, out he was willing. He out campaigned everybody. Yeah. Nobody went as far and as deep Nobody. as he did. Nobody. You know, that, that is a fact. Not even a second you know, close. That is a, a close fact. second, yes. But, but perhaps the thing then is that how will all of this, as you said, you're not here to praising anybody. No, no. Neither are we really, yeah, but the, the man is the winner. So he, all eyes are on him. Correct. He's the winner of this election. But I wanted to ask, um, in what ways would... Um, I wanted to sort of bring the question... Uh, what to expect of a Tinumbu presidency into, um, because of all these qualities, what would be the benefit to the ordinary Nigerian who has been hearing these stories from their leaders, Taimi Imo River, as we say locally? Yeah. We've been hearing that this is going to become this. I'm going to do this. It's, it seems to go with politicians. Um, mm. Do you think Ashwajibola Tinumbu is going to be different? It's going to be different in the sense that it's a matter of orientation for him. And I said, as I said earlier, he's a result-oriented person. His attitude towards issues and people are entirely different from anything you've ever known. And if somebody could say to me 20 years ago, that, look, Joko, we, we want, we're, gonna, we're going to Asura. We're going to rule this country. And uh, he set out at it, you know, I mean, toiling morning, noon, and night, you know. Give it to him. He knows what he's talking about. And he, 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 he went at it. Um, but because you've heard it so many times, that's template mentality. To say you've heard that so many times, and for reason, you know, you may not, you know, uh, don't get tired of hearing it. You know, it gets to a point in life hmm, when the right person, somebody who's well prepared, mm -hmm, eh, mm -hmm. is stepping into the chair, mm -hmm. eh, that you cannot take away from him. He's not ready to compromise his, his position. He's not ready to 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 abate any of his intentions. So the, the drive to make Nigeria better it comes to him in a way that is natural. It's an innate thing, and that's what, what sets him apart from all the other people. So it's not, a, it's not an isolated thing that just came overnight to him. No. He, for an appreciable length of he's been thinking about it. He said, look, what can we do about this? What can we do about that? And he sets about surrounding himself with people who knows. Not even for an instant of time. He never did. Not even for an instant, instant of time. I will get to himself that, no, oh, I can do it a lot. You know? oh, no. No, no, no. He puts people around him who knows in those different capacities, those different fields, what they're doing. And that's why he's different you know, from it, it, those it, that you've heard. And he's not a lame dog. He wouldn't sit down. He tosses money, noon and night, you know, and it takes, it takes care of issues by tapping into people. And I've heard the stories about, about him um, ha having an eye for, for, for bringing out the best in individuals or identifying you know, people who knows how to do it. Uh, it's an effort, and he makes that effort, and he goes all the way in doing that. So that's why he's different. I've answered your question. Well, yeah, partly, mm. yeah, partly. Uh, in, in the sense that um, mm. um, until we 
see the man. Uh, let, let, let's, let, let's look at one or two issues, because this is coming from your knowledge of the man. Um, uh, you, you would have heard, too, when the former emir of Kano uh, had said inter alia someplace that I actually don't envy the incoming president. No. Uh, mm. the, the, and he was relating to the myriads of problems that Nigeria uh, needs fixed. Um, succeeding presidents have done their best at it. Uh, we are where we are. Um, one of the most visible things that he said he will uh, engage with is this whole matter of removing subsidy on fuel. Now, everybody thinks it's not for nothing no. that former leaders have been kicking that particular can and down the road. Down the road, yes. You know, mm, they're shying away from yes, it. Yes, that, mm. well, uh, let, let the next guy deal with it. Mm -hmm. Well, he even said before he came on that, you know, I don't know, you know, people can change their mind, but he did say it emphatically when he was speaking to the business community that mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter how badly we feel about it, we've got to do that. Do you think he's going to do it? Recall I said to you, and I keep repeating myself, you know, that this is somebody who always takes the high road. He, he, if, we, if we have to, okay, take this issue that you're talking about, removing the first subsidy, this government was going to do it, you know, uh, they were going to do it in June and blah, blah, and they shied away from it. Because they, the were, they, were threatened, uh, they were threatened by labor, threatened by public opinion. They missed the point, and that's why you wouldn't miss the point. Missing the point in the sense that he knows that if you do this, there will be a hue and cry about it. Plenty of people will, will, will kick against it, and uh, at the end of the day, they'll, they'll make the noise, they'll feel the pain initially. When I say make the noise, I don't mean that derogatory, really, you know, I mean, with all this sense of uh, due respect. Uh, and uh, at the end of the day, they, 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 will, um, they will live with it and move on. It's a pain that we have to endure. Because by the time the money is coming from first subsidy, which, by the way, is a scam. That's by the way. Okay, w one second, please. Yes. Uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, the uh, Dangote refinery that is being oh, okay. open today, today. Yeah. open today, mm. uh, the president, uh, you know, uh, just about everybody who is anybody is expected. But there you go. Those are the live pictures. Mm -hmm. So just to alert you that, um, you know, we'll, we'll be going over there as soon as the president arrives. But that doesn't affect our program at all. No, you know, no. You know, you know, mm. Yes. So the money, if, when if for, for the first subsidy is removed, which it has to, mm -hmm. imagine the, the, the volume of funds that will be released into the economy, the volume of funds to be utilized for other things, like capital projects, and not even requiring this time. Are you with me? For capital projects, which will alleviate the sufferings of the people. Eh? If that happens, and um, Ashwaju will make it happen because he's determined to do it. Mm -hmm. But all the, all the negatives that comes with it, the pains and the... Uh, that will come to it and the price of petrol and blah, blah, that will go up naturally. It will happen. The pains will come and they will go away. We will learn to live with it and then we'll, we'll move on. You'll find that the economy will be the better for it. That's my take on it. It will leave so much money into the economy. Exactly. Yes. Um, as you said, you know, we'll, we'll learn to live with it. But we didn't learn to live, for instance, with uh, the currency change exercise uh, when they said to us, uh, guys, for the betterment of the economy, for the betterment of the nation. What's a brilliant uh, idea? This is this is what is going to have to happen. Yeah. Uh, people, you, you you saw the way people behaved, indicating that they don't want this at all. Not entirely so. Okay. I, I beg to differ. You know, there were thousand and one people in the in in Nigeria who appreciated the value of that currency redesign, mm -hmm. and they know. The, 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 the ups of it, they know the downs of it, they know okay. how brilliant an idea it is. Okay. Uh, but there's few people, because they were affected by the, the, the suddenness of that program and the untimely nature of it, you know, coming close to an, to an, ele an election, election. Where, what made that, that noise loud. And also the fact that the, CBN that initiated it wasn't actually prepared and could not deliver. Even the banks were not promise. Exactly. They could they, not deliver. They, they were not prepared. It was a brilliant idea. You know, it was a wrong timing. It came at the wrong time. That's why the noise was so much. And so but people if, thought it was... Uh, if if you kept your head... People, people thought it had an, an ulterior motive, as you, as you know. I still don't... I, even as well as Ulterior motive, oh yes, ulterior motive, yeah. yeah. Even yeah. as well as you said so, said so. In so many ways. Okay, yeah. this is yet another stumbling block. Yeah, you know. we'll surmount it. No, no. <laughs> we will surmount we it. We will surmount it. Oh yes, and I then will surmount it. And then to do so. Oh yes. So, uh, as he is much loved, um, well, of course, you know, for a politician, there will be those who are also of the other persuasion. Um, I imagine they will take 
this in their stride, um, but it is something of a, a hot one to pull out of the a hot chestnut to pull out of the fire, isn't it? One thing is going to cushion to cushion the thinking about it. Okay. And that is the fact that for, for, for so long, for so long, the rot has set in so deep for so long in the oil subsector. Because the subsidy thing is understood to be a scam. A lot of people tell you this is a scam. Mm -hmm. So many people are obtaining free, <laughs> free, free, money, free money and not importing one drop of oil. That's right. And we saw what happened. You know? So at the end of the day, if it is removed, those monies will be freed. That's what people should understand. Okay. For the use and benefit of everybody in the, in the society. Okay. And well, that's a comfort in there. That's a comfort zone. Indeed. We'll yes. talk about some more. Um, uh, uh, Mr. George has called in from Ikeja. The nature of our program is interactive. Good morning, Mr. George. Good morning, Uncle Yori, and uh, greetings to your guest. Yes. Uncle right Yori, Honorable Palumi. Yes. Yeah. If what um, I told you, the way he went about the primary is anything to go by. I don't have any doubt that this is somebody who knows what to do. If you look at his manifesto, you, you will, if you read the manifesto, you will know that this is coming from somebody who knows what he wants to do. But one thing I would like to advise is this. Judging from the puzzlings I'm seeing about sharing of posts at, at the National Assembly, the president or the incoming president must put his feet down when he wants to do something. I noticed that yeah. those who want what they can share are more than those who really want to work. He must, he must sit them and make sure the ones that can give him what he wants are the ones working with him. Mm. It's not about sharing of position. It's about working. He who wants to work on Kiyori doesn't have time to fight. And where there is fight, there is no work. So if what we are seeing at this National Assembly position is anything to go by, it shows what might also happen at the executive level. So he had to prepare for it and make sure the way he went about it. You know, during the primaries, in the midst of all the noise making, he was just going about it the way he knows how to do it. And at the end of the day, he thought what he wanted. Indeed. That's the way I expect him to also go about governance. Okay. Well, what I'm seeing today is not, uh, you know, in the National Assembly race, is not what I expect to see at the executive level. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Mr. George, for calling in. That single-minded focus exactly. that I showed you had exactly. right through the primary. As a point he's trying to make. Yes, that, yes. that, that, that is what he would like to see. Yes. And uh, so, so it's clear that it's possible. But um, he also referred to the National Assembly top positions that, you know, have suddenly become... Uh, a very uh, hot talking point. In fact, almost, uh, almost, if not quite there, uh, causing something of a rebellion within the party, mm. where loyal party members are saying that it wasn't done right. Quite. We weren't consulted. There's some uh, regions were left uh, out, and some regions were left out, and some regions, some regions, some regions have more than their share. It's you know, quite. So, so why would the Northwest have two positions in the top four mm. in the nationals? Those kind of things. Um, since He's a man of great detail. He doesn't miss out on details. No. What, what do you think is going on in there? Because it has been said, by Jabi Amila, the uh, right honorable uh, speaker of the House of Assembly, uh, 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 House of Representatives, I beg your pardon, has said that it was not a mistake. For that, those who have said that... This, that's that's this, his own view, Yuri. That's his own view. Please okay. go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So that, that's, that's the point I wanted to make. So you said that, if he said that, then it's his own view. It's his own view. Now... The, 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 the allocation of post the National Assembly, which he, the gentleman on the phone referred to, mm. was a mere recommendation to the NWC. It was a mere recommendation to the NWC. Okay, and it says so. So that I won't interrupt you okay. further. Mm. Uh, let, let me take uh, Mr. Joshua, who has called in from Ire Walede. Good morning to you, Mr. Joshua. Yeah. Okay, good morning, and good morning to your guests. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, even those of us that uh, have not worked directly with uh, uh, Ashwaju, I think we have a fear there of the kind of person that he is. I was in Lagos when he was governor. And, uh, for example, I knew that Lagos was littered with refuse. Everywhere in Lagos was refuse. I also remember the mold where 
situation. Now this man cleaned up Lagos. That's right. Uh, that that that's a huge credit that I have to give to him. Nobody can argue about that. It seemed like an so, intractable problem at the time. Yes, it was. It was. I I had a dog fight uh, close to me then, so I had some challenges with the government, and I had to talk to them. And I saw through uh, the refuse collection system uh, what was put in place then. If that man had been allowed by Obasanjo to execute his power project that he was trying to do through that refuse recycling, yeah. Lagos at least would have 24 hours power supply by now. It is unfortunate that this thing is starting this late. But my take in all this is, if we have a technocrat like uh, Ashwaju governing Nigeria, now, now you have a population of people who may not be that enlightened. How is it going to carry the people along? Look at the puzzle within the assembly now about who is going to be Senate president, about who is going to be speaker. They are not looking at the vision of the president. They are looking at the interest. Of course, I know there is a need for balancing, but mm. look at the kind of uh, uh, things they are spanners they are already throwing into the works. Uh, this one should go to this person. This they are not talking about. Let us look at the what the, what this uh, president elect is bringing to the table. Who is best suited to achieve or to actualize this program? That's not the issue. They are just looking at. Okay, somebody is bringing about a woman now. A woman should be uh, brought in, even if there's no woman anywhere, man, fat the woman. So they will put everything on the neck of one man, and we will have a lot of problems. Finally, sir, I want to say this from my heart. This uh, president, the outgoing president, I want to plead with them. There is too much of appointments rolling out. Now, if you make all the appointments now, what is the incoming president going to make? <laughs> appointments, uh, signing this, signing that. Here, yeah, it is not a, a plot to actually make things difficult for this man. And we have just seven days Let to go. Let us come together to walk this nation through. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much for calling in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joko, would a you, brilliant you, representation. Okay. <laughs> it's a, it's okay. brilliant. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you, would, would you like to comment on... Or, or, you, you, it's, it's raised several issues. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the, the issue of the National Assembly is one, you know, and uh, this is somebody whose death of politics, you know, is uh, unimaginable. So he can take care of it. I was making the point before he came on the, online, you know, that um, to the effect that um, uh, the... the, the, the the, the allocation of, of posts, mm -hmm. leadership posts mm -hmm. in the, yeah, National, the Assembly, National Assembly, uh, was a mere recommendation to okay. the NWC. Uh, was a mere recommendation to the NWC. Maybe it's not the phone. Is, is, is that thing live? Is that thing online? Yeah, it's online. Oh, that's where it's coming from then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's switch it off. Yeah. Okay. It's coming from the. I'm so sorry about this, but it keeps on alerting us that uh, yeah. a, a message has dropped. So, so it's, it's a mere recommendation, and even the party chairman acknowledged the fact that look, if you read the letter properly, it's indicated therein in very clear terms that, that they're going to engage in further consultations. So the mat, the issue in the National Assembly will be resolved. Okay. For the for the benefit of the entire nation. And, and you, you, I, you made an interesting point when you is. said that. Uh, well, whoever thought that it wasn't a mistake was expressing his personal opinion. What's the personal opinion? That it wasn't a mistake. You know, I mean, they say, they say it's highly skewed, in favor, like you suggested, yeah. in favor of the Northwest, mm -hmm. you know, and leaving the North Central in a large. And that shouldn't happen. So because all the six, six geopolitical zones in the country should be a part of that exercise. Yes, but how would that kind of a, of a, of a list be, be actually put out? I don't imagine such things can be done without his uh, nod or his at least seeing it. And uh, this is where a lot of people were a bit stumped. Yeah. That, ah, yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, do, people have spoken about it, you know, uh, ad nauseum that how can this kind of a thing happen? You want my candid opinion? Yeah. Don't drag Ashaki into it. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> that's my candid opinion. But he, they wouldn't have done it without his knowledge, you know, it's far fetched. Uh, it was a mere recommendation by that committee to the National Working Committee. The Ashaju that we know, and I keep saying it, that he would deepen his politics. 
Mm -hmm. He has a wherewithal to, and he has the, the knowledge of politics okay. to know what should happen. By consultation, for the consultation, he's not going to do it alone. He's a team player. Indeed. He's a team person. Maybe he'll so, even know what happened. That, 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 this thing that people are complaining about, yeah. he probably knows what happened. He wouldn't uh, be able to take a forensic examination of all that transpired when he was away. He's that way inclined. That much I can tell you. You see fireworks at the end of the day, you know. So it's not, it's not that it's not cotton dry about the list that they be, that is being bandied about and everybody's complaining about. Okay. It's not cotton dry about it. It, it will be reviewed, and at the end of the day, you see what you can call a balance sheet, you know, that we present to the public, and it may, be, it may not be entirely be acceptable to everybody, you know, but to a larger section of the party and the country will benefit from it. That's my take on that. Okay.